whether you're gonna put coffee in it or a buttercream. British is funny. They're just watching a cooking show, but moments like these mean even more to Peggy and Greg. Sticky toffee pudding. Since he was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer in 2017. It was devastating. Greg started rounds of chemo and radiation, but after a suggestion from a friend, he started taking cannabis too. They're pretty good size. He takes these CBD and THC pills by Stratos and even uses a cannabis cream. It seems like it really has been helping. Uh, I sleep a little bit better. But he knows not all people his age and older are so open to using cannabis. And yeah, I think there is a, a, a large stigma still um, and it's just a holdover from the 60s and all, you know, from demonstrations and all of that kind of thing. Since the 1930s, you've been told that there's something really bad about cannabis. It's always going to be there in the back of your head. Leland Rucker is editor of Cincy, a magazine for adults with a cannabis emphasis. He says the stigma is still attached. And I talked to one woman who it really helped her start to sleep. She was all of a sudden sleeping much better. But she was embarrassed about it. She was embarrassed to talk to people about it because she had been so cannabis negative all of her life. But he says more older Americans are exploring, encouraged in part by their children and grandchildren. And so you have to find out what the reality is. And I think that now that it's legal, we've given people that opportunity. One is the sleep and the other one is the CBD. Shedding the stigma. I would say open your heart and open your mind. For the now, I'm Kumasi Aaron.